us for this five over match between West Indies and Scotland. I'm Mike Atherton and with me for this match. So that decision. Yep. Ease through the field. There'll be runs here. Poor, poor fielding. Chose the wrong end entirely for what should have been a simple run out. And with that, they're off the mark. Yeah! Found the gap with ease. Wasn't the worst ball you'll see, but it's still raced to the rope. A little short on that occasion. Needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller. Too short on this pitch, and as we've seen already, it makes it very easy to score. Mayers shakes their head. It was there to be hit, but couldn't make the most of it. Yep. Great shot. At least one on offer. Keep it, keep it. There'll be one run here for them. Lewis is new to the crease. They'll be keen to feel bat on ball early on. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. They'll get at least one. Really race between the wickets after it was clipped away nicely behind square. End of the over. Eight runs coming from it. West Indies are eight for none. What into the attack now from the south end? A brilliant throw in from the deep caps off what was a fabulous piece of fielding. I for one reckon that second run was on but clearly the batters knew better. Wait on. Caught. Yeah! Gone. A trudge back to the pavilion, a disappointing display in the end. For someone with such batting skills, this goes down as a fail. New batter comes to the crease. Never an easy time to come in after the fall of a wicket. Timed it nicely. They'll look for a couple, you'd think. Tucked it nicely into the gap. Pick up a single, red tape the strike. Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Short and wide, did well to get some bat on that. Yep. Keepers! Good return, back from the deep. Over. West Indies are 12 for one.
the right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the north end. An example of how good the modern player is at sliding across the outfield. It's easy runs there at this level when you stray a little down the leg side. Tucked it nicely off the pads for more runs. Yep. Catch it. Massive edge. Threw the hands at it, got it early, but enough to get on it for four. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great last ball to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Wait there. Really good shot there. A loose delivery, seen early, and it was dispatched easily. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? The short ball is picked up early. Not the best delivery, and a good shot sees them cash in. Boundaries are flowing. They need to find a dot ball or two to slow things down again. Wait there. Can't get that outside the it ring field. Scotland found some good rhythm in that over. They'll want to maintain it going forwards. Tahir, the spinner, coming into the attack. Yes. Couldn't have played that any better. That really wasn't a great delivery. Seen early, and it was dispatched with aplomb. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Waiting. No runs on that occasion, got into position nicely, just too early on the shot, couldn't find a gap. Yes! Bowling! Got forward well and was able to drive the ball, a lovely shot and good running. Good running, it needed to be as well, probably closer than they expected. Yes. Chance to run two. Bowlers. Good running, just finding the gap and that allows for rotation of the strike and keeps the pressure on the bowlers. Cuts that off well in the infield. End of the over. West Indies are 32 for one.
Least given the job the here to bowl the last now. over of the innings. Yep. Nicked it through the field. Will it get to the boundary? Didn't time it at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. That last ball isn't something you'd want to see a repeat of. You don't want to be giving easy runs away. Yes. Exquisitely down the front foot, a gorgeous looking drive. Could have been worth more.